Example number 2 for chapter 3 torsion of thin walled tubes. An aluminum tube 1.2 meter long has the semi uh, semicircular cross section shown in the figure. If stress, concentration, at the corners are neglected, ito yung mga corners natin, determine 1, the torque that causes a maximum shear stress of 40 MPa, and number 2, the cross, sorry, the corresponding angle of twist of the tube. Use, uh, G is equal to 28 GPa for, for aluminum. Ayan. Okay? So, ito yung ating tube. So, meron tayong sem uh, semicircular portion. Then, meron tayong straight dito. And, magkaiba sila ng, ano, ng thickness. This is 3 mm and this is 2 mm. Okay? Then, uh, yes, meron tayong reduce na 25 mm. So, solve natin. Number 1, ang pinapasold is, ano, torque. Okay? Na magkakos daw ng uh, maximum shear stress. Okay? So, sa ba't makukuha yung torque natin? Ang torque natin, di ba sa ating shear flow? Di ba ang ating shear flow is equals to T over 2 multiplied by A sub O. Okay? Therefore, ang ating torque is equals to um, 2 multiplied by Q multiplied by A sub O. So, kailangan natin ng, ano, ng shear flow. So, ano ba yung ating ano, Q? Yung ating ano, uh, shear flow is equals to shear stress multiplied by T. Ayan. Okay? So, ngayon, T. Ano yung gagamitin natin sa dalawang T? Yung 2 mm pa o 3 mm? So, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung 2 mm. Kasi doon tayo magkakaroon ng... Uh, or parang yun yung critical kasi. Yung kasi mas manipis eh. Pero, para ma-prove natin na yun, yun talaga ang gagamitin natin, ang sabi kasi rito... Yung torque daw na kailangan natin para mag-cause ng maximum shear stress of 40 MPa. So, sabihin, maximum shear stress or malaki or mataas na 40 MPa. So, ano ba yung ating shear stress? Di ba ang ating shear stress is equals to um, okay, shear flow okay, over T. Ngayon, kung ang ipang-divide natin is 3 mm, ibig sabihin makakuha tayo ng mas mababang shear stress. Tama ba? Pero kung mas maliit na thickness ang gagamitin natin dito, which is yung 2 mm, doon tayo makapag, or makakuha, or makapagpalabas ng mas malaking shear stress. Kaya ang kukunin natin dito, or i-consider natin na T, is yung 2 mm. Okay? Therefore, yung ating Q is equal to shear stress na 40 MPa, that is Newton per mm squared. Okay? Multiplied by the thickness. So, ang thickness natin na gagamitin is 2 millimeter. Kaya ang ating um, shear flow is equals to 80. That is Newton per millimeter. Ayan. So, cancel yung isang millimeter. Ayan. So, kung meron tayong ano, uh, shear flow, makukuha na natin yung ating ano, um, torque. Okay? So, kunin natin yung A sub O. So, A sub O natin is equals to Ah, yes. So, this is ano, semicircle. So, ano ba yung ano natin? Circle. Pi R squared. Tama ba? So, buong circle yon So, divided by 2. So, pi multiplied by So, pi multiplied by R that is 25 squared over 2. So, alalahanin natin yung ating R dito is nasa ano, median. Okay? Nasa median line. So, ito na yung ating A sub O. So, pi multiplied by 25 squared over 2. So, this is 981.748. So, 981.748. So, this is millimeter squared. Yan. So, yung ating T is equals to 2 multiplied by shear flow na newton per millimeter. Then, yung ating area na 981.748. And this is millimeter squared. So, cancel yung isang millimeter. So, matitir natin is newton millimeter, which is torque. Okay? So, ilan to? 2 multiplied by 80 multiplied by um, 981.748. Ayan. So, ano kasi siya, no? Malaki kasi talaga siya kasi ano, eh, newton millimeter, eh. Okay, so gawin natin ano, newton meter na lang. Ayan, divide natin ng 1,000. 
So, 157.08. So, 157.08 Newton meter. So, ito na yung ating ano, torque na kakailanganin para makakuha tayo na maximum shear stress. Ayan. Okay? So, number 2. Anong pinapaan sa number 2? The corresponding angle of twist of the tube. Okay? So, since ano, um, magkaibintik na sa atin, nahati natin yun sa dalawa. Okay? So, di ba ang constant na theta natin na gamit natin sa problem number 1? So, ano nga ba equation natin ng ano, angle of twist? This is equals to PL over 4A sub O squared multiplied by G. Ayan. Okay? Multiplied by the um, contour in, uh, integral of TS over T. Ayan. Okay? So, sa buong ano to, uh, parang perimeter niya or circumference niya. Depende kung ano yung shape ng ating tube. Okay? So, para sa dalawa to, para sa 2 mm and para sa 3 mm. Okay? So, ngayon, meron tayong T, meron tayong L, what, that is 1 point meter long. Meron tayong A sub O, meron tayong G. Okay? So, ito na lang hahanapin natin. Okay? So, uh, contour in, uh, integral of TS over T is equals to yung dalawa. Okay? So, ano ba yung ano natin? Um, TS natin para sa unang thickness. Sabi natin, ang thickness 1 natin is 2 mm. Ayan. Ano ba yung DS natin dito? Or yung buong S? Kasi this is ano eh. Uh, di ba kapag in-integrate natin to, this is equals to S over T. Tama ba? So, magiging ano to? Um, S over T1. So, S1 plus S1 over T1. Then, add natin yung S2 over T2. Ayan. Yan yung mangyayari. Okay? So, ngayon. Okay? Anong S1 natin? That is, ano? Uh, okay? That is semi-circumference. Okay? So, that is pi R. Okay? So, pi R over 2. So, pi R over 2. Multiplied by T1. Okay? So, S1. Ano nga ba S1 natin dito? Okay, so, kalahati ng circumference ng circle. Ang, um, ano, ang um, circumference ng circle is 2 pi r. Tama ba? So, kalahati nun, that is pi r. Okay? So, pi r over t1. Then, ano ba yung S2? Okay, yung S2 natin is dalawang radius lang. Okay, so, 2 r over t2. So, this is pi r. So, pi multiplied by 25 over thickness na 2 mm, so 2 plus ano ba yung ano? R ulit natin. So, 2 multiplied by 25 over thickness na 3 mm. Okay? So, contour integral of ds over t is equals to pi multiplied by 25 over 2 plus 2r, that is 2 multiplied by, 20, 2 multiplied by 25 over 3. Ayan. So, ito yung ating, ano, um, parang uh, buong, ano, perimeter. Okay? Ah, yes, yung ratio ng buong perimeter sa thickness nila. So, 55.937. So, 55.937. Tama ba? 937. Okay, so this is millimeter. Okay? The millimeter din yung thickness. So, unit less to. Okay? So, makuha natin yung ano natin, theta. So, theta is equal to uh, torque na 157.08 newton meter multiplied by L. Ang L natin is 1.2 times 10 raised to 3 para maging fit lang. Oo nga, dapat pala kinonvert na natin to lahat. So, convert natin to ng ano, millimeter. So, 10 raised to 3. So, that is newton millimeter. Multiplied by length na 1.2 times 10 raised to 3 para maging millimeter. Yan. Over 4. Multiplied by area. Ang area natin is ano? A sub O. Ang A sub O natin is yan, 9, 981. 
So this is okay na square to. So magiging ano yan, millimeter to the port. So ang G natin is gigapascal. So new uh, 28. This is newton per millimeter squared. Ayun. Then multiply natin ng ano ng okay, yung contour integral na ds over ds over t. So this is 55.937. So dapat ano to, regions. Okay? So magka-cancel out lahat 'yan. Check natin. So, Newton. Newton. Okay, this is millimeter. Okay, millimeter squared. Okay, so, kung millimeter squared to, magka-cancel out to, millimeter squared. So, millimeter squared, then ito, millimeter squared, nasa baba, magka-cancel out din. Okay, so, cancel out sa silang lahat. Okay, so, 157.08 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 1.2 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 55.937 over 4 multiplied by 981.748 multiplied by 28. Ayan. So, yung ating, ano, um, wait lang, sorry. Hindi natin na square yung, ano, yung area. Sorry, sorry. This is squared. And, ayan. So, 97 point, Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so may kulang tayo ito, ito. Kasi ano ito eh, dapat radius to, dapat maliit lang to. Sorry. Ito, gigapascal pala yun. Sorry. So kung gigapascal, i-convert muna natin yan ng megapascal pala para maging newton per millimeter squared. So, multiply natin to ng 1,000 para maging megapascal. Yan. So, megapascal is equal to newton per millimeter squared. Okay? So, this is, ano, dapat, ano yan, uh, times 10 raised to 3. Ayan. Ayan. So, 0 0.0977. 0 0.0977 regions. Okay? Ayan. So, okay na yan. Okay? Kung regions. So, convert natin into, ano, into angle. Or, yes, into angle or degrees. So, multiplied by 180 over 5. Ayan. So, 5.596. So, 5.596 degrees. Ayan. Okay? Ayan siya. So, ito yung ano, gamit nung ano, kapag hindi constant yung thickness natin. So, paghihiwalayin lang natin. Kasi na lang naman to, ratio lang to ng um, perimeter over nung thickness. Ayan. So, kunin mo lang yung buong perimeter ng unang thickness. Then, i-add lang natin yung pangalawang perimeter over nung thickness niya. So, makakuha natin yung ds over dt natin. Then, i-multiply mo lang sa tl over 4 multiplied by a sub o squared multiplied by g. So, sir, magbabago po ba yung a sub o kung magkaiba yung thickness? Uh, dito kasi sa problem na to, hindi naman eh. Hindi naman kasi talaga siya. Kasi kukun lang naman natin yung area. Okay? Doon sa ano? Sa, pagkita? Doon sa median line. Diba kasi ang median line andito? Ayan. Ayan. Ito lang naman yung median line natin eh. So, dyan natin kukunin yung A sub O. Okay? So, kahit magkaiba yung thickness nila, okay lang. Okay? So, isa lang yung A sub O natin. Okay? So, this is our example number 2. For torsion of thin-walled tubes.